Hello everyone, welcome back to the editorial analysis and daily answer writing at 9 pm. I am Mohanapriya, faculty at Officers IAS Academy. If you are here for the first time, I would request you to go and watch the introduction video of this playlist to know more about this program and also to know how to participate in this initiative. Now, without any delay, let us get into the topic of discussion. Today, we will be discussing about an article which was published in the Down to Earth. So, it has been predicted that by 2050, about one of every two Elino events will be extreme and intense. So, this increase in the extremity of the Elino events has been attributed to the phenomenon of global warming and rising temperatures across the globe. So, with the context, with regard to this context, we'll be discussing about the mechanism of Elino, the global impacts specific impacts with regard to India and what steps we can take to mitigate the impacts of El Nino. So, let us start the discussion. So, first, let us understand the phenomenon of El Nino. El Nino is a phenomenon which is associated with unusual warming of the central and eastern Pacific Ocean along the equatorial and tropical region. This unusual warming of the central and Pacific regions along the equator and tropics is associated with weakening of trade winds. Generally, you have the trade winds which move from east to west resulting in accumulation of warm water along the western margin of the Pacific Ocean. This is the normal phenomenon. But sometimes due to the weakening of trade winds or reversal in the direction of trade winds, what happens is that there is excess accumulation of warm water which happens along the central and eastern margins of the Pacific Ocean resulting in increasing sea surface temperature. So, this phenomenon is what we call as El Nino. And El Nino is a phenomenon which happens at irregular intervals and typically recurs at intervals of 2 to 7 years. And it can last on an average period between 9 to 12 months. Okay, so this is about the mechanism of El Nino. And now we are going to discuss about the global impacts. So, the El Nino years are associated with disruptions in the normal climatic patterns around the world. In some parts of the world, El Nino can create extreme heat wave conditions resulting in droughts and in some parts of the world, due to the accumulation of warm water and excess supply of moisture, it can result in increased heavy rainfall resulting in huge catastrophic flood-like conditions. Apart from this, El Nino also significantly affects the marine, bio, marine biodiversity because it affects the normal pattern of ocean currents and also the phenomenon of upwelling is disturbed because of unusual warming of the Pacific Ocean. And it has been recorded that 2023 is the warmest year ever recorded till date and this one reason, major reason for this is being attributed to the El Nino. And it is also said that due to the increase in the extremity of the El Nino events and due to the increase in the frequency of El Nino events, it has been observed that the time which is there for people to recover from the impacts of El Nino is lessening. Say for example, there has been an El Nino period and people have suffered the catastrophic impacts due to a flood and it will take definitely one or two years for them to come back to normalcy and assume within that one or two period, one or two years, if an El Nino event is going to recur and come again, then they might have to face that extremity extremity once again which is going to push them into a very very difficult situation. Now let us discuss the specific impacts which is going to happen with regard to India during the El Nino years. El Nino is a phenomenon which disturbs the monsoonal pattern in India. It affects the monsoon, it weakens the monsoon disturbing the normal rainfall which results in water scarcity and crop failures across the country. So, decreased rainfall is going to directly contribute to water scarcity and also crop failures are very common during the El Nino years due to the failure of monsoon. And apart from that, during the El Nino years, the Indian subcontinent is associated with very high temperatures resulting in frequent heat wave like conditions which can contribute to frequent droughts which can occur in various parts of the country. And both of these, that is decreased rainfall and increased heat wave conditions are directly affecting the agriculture, agriculture and because of which the economic impacts can also affect the GDP of the country. Yes, so El Nino is a natural phenomenon. There is no way to control or prevent this event from occurring. All that we can do is take some steps 
in order to in order to mitigate the impacts of this El Nino. So the first step that can be taken with regard to mitigating the impacts of El Nino is focusing on accurate forecasting. So if we are able to predict the years of occurrence of El Nino, we can take preventive steps in order to get ourselves more prepared. And also we have to focus on improving our early warning systems, which is also going to help us to take preventive steps. And another important uh, step that can be taken is to come up with drought resistant crops. Yes, because the phenomenon of climate change is become irreversible. So we have to prepare ourselves in order to tackle the impacts and therefore we can come up with drought resistant crops. We can focus more on water resource management techniques and Last but not the least, we have seen that it is because of global warming and increasing temperature of the earth, the phenomenon of El Nino has become more extreme and intense. Therefore, we have to definitely take steps to reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. So, on the whole, we understand that it is important to understand and know more about this mechanism of El Nino understand its impacts and also come up with new techniques and strategies in order to mitigate this impacts of El Nino to make ourselves better prepared for lessening the impacts during the catastrophic events. Okay, So this was the overall discussion about the article which was published. Based on the overall discussion which we have had, I am going to give you a question for today. Explain the mechanism of El Nino and examine its impacts, particularly focusing on the impact in India. This is a 10 mark question for which you are expected to write an answer within 150 words. So we will meet again in at another interesting topic very soon. Until then, please continue to do this daily answer writing practice as it is going to be very, very useful for your mates. All the best.